Hello everyone, it's Sue from Crafts and Joy and welcome to my craft room today. I am excited. <laughs> it is today, it is the new catalogue launch day. I've been seeing this catalogue for so long and I love it. And I've got a very special day today because I am playing with the new products. <laughs> so I really hope you... Um, you stick around and watch that. Watch and loads of hints and tips coming up. And I've got a different card, a men's card that I've got making for my cousin. So um, how exciting! So don't forget, I'm Sue from Craft to Enjoy, and I am an UK independent stem flower demonstrator. Don't forget to stick around because there's loads of Sue, Mrs. H's, that's me, hints and tips coming up. So um, I don't forget to press on sub. Don't forget, I'm too excited to talk. <laughs> don't forget to click on subscribe so don't miss any of my future videos. Let's me just put my camera down so you can see my desk. There's lots of product on here, so you can just kind of have to bear with us. There we are. I did I promise that your catalog is live as from today, and it's very exciting. And I am using um what's it called? Beautiful world. <gasps> I love it. I can see this being used for so many cards, but I, I'm doing travel journals. We've done lots. Of, I've got loads of holidays to um, scrapbooking, men's cards. I'm seeing this. I'm seeing so many different things with this stamp set, and it's really not one I'd normally pick, but I really, really like it. Um, I have the dies to coordinate with it that are just really good and really cool. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be doing with them. So I want to do a fun card fun fun card so I want, i've started some things ahead of time i want to sh suss out in my head how it's going to work because this is a bit more complicated for my brain to get online videos so um i'm going to show you what i've done um so this is the new what's it called misty moonlight and this is call me clover so i like these two colors and i'm making a men's card so so a couple of things ahead of time because it'd be quite boring but um i'm going to start by getting the um where we're we going to start we're going to start by getting well, i was going to start well get the back bit done yeah so okay i've cut this so i've cut a long strip and i've just chopped it up into three different pieces where's my other bit gone I'm missing a piece there we go so um that's my first piece and i've done i'm going to show you how, how i did this i've got a scrap here to show you so i folded so this isn't the same size as that i've just got a scrap piece and now you're going to first of all you need to find where the center of your die is so it's really easy to do it on grid paper like i'm doing here mrs hinch mrs um humphrey's oh i'm not saying very well hello everyone it's sue from craft and joy and welcome to my craft room today and today is a very very special day because it is new catalog launch day yay i've been oh I love it. I get so excited, honestly. I, get, I just get, I just, I oh, can't hardly speak. So I'm playing with new things from the catalogue. So I like it. So I am um, playing with Beautiful World. And that's not normally one that I would play, I would be drawn to. But actually, I'm trying to do something different things. I'm trying to think, oh, I, I can see this being used for so many things. So let's head down to my crafting desk. Let me switch, switch the cameras real quick. So I, uh, oh my goodness, so many things in this catalog. I still have so many tabs down, <laughs> pink little tabs down. Yes, that'll be like that. Um, and yes, I'm going to be using the Beautiful World stamp set. I really, I'm doing lots of journals, scrapbooking. This is one that just, just spoke to me really. And I can see it with men's cards. I struggle with men's cards, I have to admit. So I'm going to make a men's card. I've got my cousin's card birthday coming up. So I thought I'm going to make it. And, um, you know, it's just so lovely. I can see this being used for journals, for um, travel cards, men's cards. I'm going to also do some different coloured ones. So the adventure awaits, uh, life's, a be life's a beautiful journey. You make the world a better place. I just thank you for being part of mine. Congratulations on this new beginning. It could be a new home. It could be a traveling. These are cards that I struggle with. So these just are great. The sentiments you can use on so many things. So, you know, you could use that um, on for a baby card. You could use that adventure awaits. You know, it could be for a baby card. I've already thought, thought about doing things like that. So there's lots coming up. I'm, I'm excited. So let me sort of calm down. So I'm going to be using, and we've got new colors. Call me, this is Call Me Clover. And this is Misty Moonlight, and I really like them, and they go together. Um, there is a pack of paper that comes with this set that I have that you may be seeing in other videos. So I'll give you a little bit of spoiler there. 
So, and the set of dies actually comes in the pack. And, um, is that the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. Yeah, so, uh, so I just, I've got so many things on my desk, it's a bit, that comes with it. You get the round circle that comes with it that actually cuts that out the world and stuff. So you've got so many options here. That's really quite a cool set in its own. And if you just want a little, um, that's the little, I think that just suck cuts out. If you just want the pivoting world, you can just have a teeny sort of world sitting on something. So you don't have to have the full, you know, the full, um, bit like I have this I've gone for where's it gone where's the die gone it's on here somewhere I've gone for that bit to cut out so it's got a larger piece so it's actually sitting in sort of like um I don't know what you call it a stand so I like that so I'm going to start by making a um a fun fold card really and it's a flip card so I'm just going to move things out of the way. I've done this ahead of time because I had to get my head around it. But I'm going to show you how I've done it. Um, and the first thing we need to do is to get that framelet um, to suss out the centre. Oh, I'll just put it over there. Centre of the framelet. That's quite easy to do when you've got some grid paper. And Mrs H's top tip here, folks. So that's me. Um, yeah, so when you get that in the centre of, the, of that, you can go from the, the lines, as you can see I'm doing here. It's, oh, don't move it, Sue. Three, four. There we go. So you've got the. You, so you know, if you're looking the halfway, you know the halfway mark is, and that's really easy, easy to find. So I don't. You know, you're not going to match. going to matter. They do. They do come off when they get too much rubbing on them because it's metal. But you know, it's all good. So to do this card, I've done half an A4 and half again, and I've fold, I've, I've made a crease. So we are going to. Um, so it looks a bit like that. How you get this is quite clever. I'm going to show you on a um, scrap piece of card here I've got. So I'm going to start by pressing this, this is this piece of card, you can imagine. And I just want to cut up to there. I don't want to cut any further. I want to cut on this part of it. So I'm going to get some, I'm going to, I will have to use a bit of um, my tape. So I'm going to get that those two lined up on my card. Put one there and one there. Well, then I'm going to try and bring in my big shot. I've got so much stuff on my desk. I don't know if it's going to fit, but we'll give it a go. I'll show you what I mean. I'll bring the plates in. I don't think we're going to get the big shot on my desk. Oh, it's moved. Oh, dear. Okay, let's try that again. So line that up like that, like that. And then all we're going to do is to make sure we've got enough. If obviously we've got all this card down here, that that's on to the right-hand side. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that plate up to the where I want to stop. So I'm going to run that through the big shot and I'll show you what it comes out like. It is a bit fiddly but obviously it won't cut on that side and this, this frame that's there it won't cut through because I'm only cutting the plates up to them. So I'm just going to put this through the big shot. I can't get my big shot on the, on the desk so um, I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to bring that back in. So, and there it is. Dun, dun, dun. Da -da. So it's only cut up to there. But I think for me, the marks on it are really quite important because it really, really helps you. It takes all the guesswork out and you can then match everything up. You line that up with the fold, line up the plates, the edge of the plates for the, for the big shot, so for whatever you've got cut cutting um, machine you're using. So that's really quite cool. So we like that. Then I'm just going to do the next piece. So then the next challenge was I wanted this to wrap round and I, oh, I'll just get, get it in my head, you know. Oh, I want it to be a bit different. Right, 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 yeah, it's right way right, up, yeah. Okay, so then I thought, well, how am I going to get that piece cut out? So what I did was I lined this up again from my centre points. So and I just, all I'm going to do is, my, is line that up with that. And then I drew round it with a pencil. So you can then line that up to go and cut it and then just take the pencil marks off because you've got it in the right place. So like that, get with this piece of card where you need it to be first, line that up with the edge of where you need the cutting line to be, put a pencil mark around it and then put a bit of tape on it and then take that so it will come off exactly where you need it to be. It's a bit fiddly. 
so there we go so that then -da, that cuts like that so I'm going to start by putting I wanted to um, actually do a teeny bit of stamping on the front of it well, I'm going to be using the craft ink I've not used this for a while I've got the older style pad but uh, it's exactly the same Hopefully. and it's a white ink so, oh, I'm not doing the ink ink no, I think we're good. So I'm going to put a few, just about three, I think. Possibly five, who knows. Yeah, we're going to put five on now. I'm just going to go and grab my piece of scrap paper that I've had been using for, for ages. So I'm going to come on there. There we go. So... That is the front, that's the front of my card. I then wanted to, I've already cut out, um, where was I going? So I've got lots of bits here. Let me just move that out and work a second, otherwise I'm going to get a sticky mess here. Um, that's that bit, that's the middle piece. So that's that bit, that's the middle piece. Sorry, you're keeping up here, I think you are. So I then wanted to make my, my worlds, but I didn't, want them I thought oh they look a bit flat that looks a bit it's really lovely but I wanted some colour underneath so what I've done is I've cut a circle out again with the one that matches it and I thought well how I can just sponge hopefully and put that on top so underneath kind of this lovely bit I've cut out with a die so I'm going to give it a go um I've got a couple of inks here I've got the um Garden, no, green. I've got some old olive and I've got some pool party, which is quite a pale blue. So I'm hoping we'd be able to do something with it. So I don't really know where I want a bit of blue, a bit of green, a bit of blue. But I'm just if I mix it in a little bit, I might make it look like it's kind of a bit watery or a bit something. I don't want it. I don't know much. Being, I do think it might be a bit brown, but. I'm just going to see what that looks like, and that looks quite cool. So you see the effect I was going for. I think I needed two of these, so I'm just going to do the other one. I think. Again, I'm not going to be too sort of like letting me to really get off that with that high hit, that sharp sort of edge of it. I quite like that. It's not, you're not going to see it underneath there. There we go. So that is my my little world look and I think it's going to look okay under there it makes it look a bit more you know and I've done that on some white cards that's quite cool I quite like that I'm just going to, going to um, get those out of the way I don't need them anymore um, my desk is absolutely covered with stuff you can't see it you can't see it so um, that's my world's done that's then two done so that's really cool um, I've also another thing I've done in the set there is a stamp that I really like. You make the world a better place. And it fits spookily, it fits in there. And then I thought, oh, I wanted to make a little frame for it. So how I've made a little frame to make it stand out more. So um I've gone to my framelets and I've got a smaller size. You have to you can see it from the back. You see that? So all I've done is cut out the larger one first, put it through again, to, and then put the smaller one inside it. And obviously you can use that as a as a guide, so it's quite easy to get that round. So to make a teeny frame, to make a teeny frame for it, so I'll quickly grab my my glue mat, and I'm just going to use my glue pen, and I'm just going to show you how I attach that really quickly. I use my glue mat all the time. So and it's not very really often it gets clean, so <laughs> it's well used. So I'm just going to let that dry, but it looks like that now, which I think is pretty cool. There we go. It just makes it stand out, makes it pop, makes it look quite cool, I think. Let's put that out of the way. Um, my next thing to do is to get that done. Uh, where are we going? Turn that. So I think I'm going to start to put, oh yes, I want to do some heat embossing on this bit as well oh, so much going on today in today's card so i wanted to put um 
Life's a Beautiful Journey. But I wanted to put it going up the car, so it's that way. So I wanted to heat emboss it, in, in, obviously in the gold, because that's the gold of what we've got going on here. So the way to do heat embossing is to make sure you use your embossing buddy first. I'm just going to use that corner of the card that the stamp's going to go. Obviously, when I've been touching the card with my fingers, there will be some finger oil in that, and obviously the embossing powder may stick to it. So I'm going to do a quick heat embossing, and I'm going to use some Men Versamark um, ink. And it's mine's a bit dirty, but it's not too bad that one. Um, so I'm just going to go over my stamp. But this is going to make this Versamark ink is going to make the embossing powder stick. So I'm just going to go on that corner like so. And now you can see it's gone like a shade darker. So I'm going to get my heat embossing powder. And I'm just going to, I have mine in boxes because um, I use it quite a lot. So this is the powder. I'm going to heat it up. I always do it over it twice. I've got spoons in all of mine because I use them a really lot. So I think that's going to look pretty good. I'm just going to get that out of the way because I don't want to heat it up. And then I can just grab my messy mat back, or my mat back, messy looking mat back. All I want to do now is just to heat that up. So if you can hear me okay, I'll try to put it closer to my webcam to see if you can see it change. I think you're seeing that. Yeah. So can you see it change? I think you can. You have to be quite quite careful with heat embossing because you can um let me go put the right one. There we go. That's what sorry, I'm not in that place though, isn't it? There we go. So um that's just lovely, isn't it? That's a really lovely font to be doing that with, isn't it? Some fonts better than others for heat embossing, but that is just lovely. So it kind of matches everything else, so that's pretty cool as well. Um let's put that away. So that's going on the front there. That is going in there. That my world, one of my worlds is going there. One's going inside, and I've got that for the back piece. I'm just going through it in my head so I don't miss anything. And that is that piece. I've also got a cut out for ahead of time. Um, the world to sit in. It's like a stand for the world to sit. And that comes in a set as well, so that's really quite cool. So we like that. I also wanted to put a happy birthday in this in one of the circles. The circles I had left over, I just wanted to put it in the top right. We will see. So this should, hopefully that should that should fit. So I want to do I'll do that now. Happy birthday. I might actually we should emboss it. While we're here, shall we emboss it? I think we should really, don't we? So exactly the same rule again, don't let me forget. Do the um, embossing buddy, take the moisture out. I've already double checked lots of like little taps for the Happy birthday in the center. Let that transfer a second and perfect. So let's take that to the embossing powder. This, I just love heat embossing, it's one of my favorite techniques. It's just, I remember the first time I saw it, it's like magical. So I'm just gonna, if you get any powder that you don't want it to be, you need to take it off of your card before you um, heat it. So that's a Mrs. H's top tip there. If there was a bit of say, let's just grab a brush, old brush here. If there's a speck of it there, just speck it, just pick it off before you you do anything. Old brush I've got there before you heat it, so it doesn't heat that any stray bits that are there. Don't want them to be. So I'm just gonna raise it up for you to have a look at. You're seeing that change. Oh, so clever. You have to be quite careful because, like I say, you can burn it. So it's just, as soon as it changes, you move on. And I, I don't like to waft it around. I like to go gradual. That's the way I was taught, and that's the way I do it. So that is looking really good. So let's start putting some of this together now. So my front of my card is going to go... There's bits and pieces here. So let's put that on there. And I want to put that in the front. Put some more. Um, some, probably some more of those little stamps on the inside piece. So concentrating on my gluing then. There we go. So that that's just sits there. 
want it to be. So that fits through there okay. So that's pretty good, we like that. Then we're gonna fit one of our worlds on there with our colored background. So that's not too bad, this one. I could obviously use my 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 um my silicon craft sheet, and I could just get some glue on it and uh, change that back. That's okay. I'm going to put that at the top. I'm just going to slide that into place. So that is there, and that's going to sit on the piece that comes out. There we go. That's going to sit there. And obviously, we've got the mark here, so we can all line it all up so it will work. Hopefully. So that's all pretty cool. Line that up, there we go. Let's double check that's going to fit. Yeah, there we go. So that will work. And it works. Woohoo! God, I wouldn't think about that today. <laughs> it's taken me a while. So I think here I wanted to put something on the back of it. I think that still is going to work. And it is, yeah, that's okay. So I'm going to put that on the back just to hide the back bit. It doesn't look very nice. So and I think I'm going to show you real quick how to do that piece. That's what it's going to do. Yeah. So I've already done this ahead of time. So I just wanted to, so I need, I'm going to cut this really quick. So let's find my, this is how you cut the other side of it so that it matches round. So it's quite, quite tricky. But yeah, again, that, that, that bit there has just sort of nestled into where it is cut. I'm going to go around that with pencil, like so, and then we're going to actually cut that. So that edge of that die needs to be on my cut line. So I'm going to real quickly go and do that. So I'm just going to go and do that. I don't have my big shot on the table up there. Just line that up so it's nice and straight. Otherwise it affects our card. So not straight from me. And you can see I've just done that. And just peel off my tape. And that cuts it out. Mm -hmm. You have to think about that. I couldn't get my head around that today. So how does that work? So then we get a rubber. It's over there, sorry. Let me check. So then can we just take off that pencil mark that I put around there? You never know how you did it. Woohoo! That piece is going to fit there and that's going to fit on the other side of it. So I will go along and just do some more the compasses. I quite like that. That's going to be on the other side of it. So it just makes it so that is going to fit around there. Well, let's put that piece down. So I'm going to get some more world on it. I don't want it to be really f sort of um, too thick because it would be quite thick there. That's why I've cut it. That's why I've cut it so it sort of notches in, it sort of slides in, and there we go. And that works. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it took me a while to just ask that out, but there we go. So I'm going to put that down next. Just got a bit of assembly to do. Oh, I love in these colours. I absolutely love it. And that is that. So I'm just going to put a few in there. Let that dry a few minutes. That's going to go in the top right. I'm going to glue that down so that's in place. My birthday's on there. I need to put my mix in to put my world together. Another for my world. So I'm going to put that in the inside of the, of the card. So I'm just going to glue those together as well. <laughs> no, I love it. So now we need to put our. So what I, what my idea was to kind of put it so that is sitting in there, 
but you can think that when it's flat, let me just make makes sense. So you can actually see like that that the front world is sitting in the same as the back one. So I like that. So I'm just gonna I think that's where it's gonna go. So I'm just gonna double check that's gonna fit. It needs to line up with the front one. And it's about there. So I'm just gonna put a dab of glue under there to hold the bottom piece. That's kind of anchor, so giving it all where the top one's gonna go. I'm going to put a bit of glue on there and put that in its little holder. So we've got that piece down, and then I'm just going to get try gently a couple of dobs of glue under here and around here and all the way along. I think that's got it. Just going to hold those a second. And there we go. Put that gap. It's going to hold that set grabs. No, I don't put a little bit more glue on them. It's difficult so I'm turning it around. Let me turn it around a bit. There we go. So let me, I only wanted it so it was going to be this. So it looks as if it's slightly raised, it's not flat. That's got it. So there we go. Oh, a few more worlds on the front, or the back of the, on the main piece. More um, of the compasses. If I don't want to get that on the bottom here, the blue piece, I'm just going to butt up a scrap of card there and then that won't go on the blue bit, hopefully. There we go. And it didn't. <laughs> there we go. Whew. And I want to put one on the corner there, so I've got to be a bit careful. I don't make a mess. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I love it. I like it. What do you think? Please don't forget to. Um, Leave me a comment if you like it, or if there's something I can help with in the future, let me know. What do you think about that card? I think that is it. That's a very busy card, isn't it? That's really cool, isn't it? Let's look at some lights so you can see me again. There we go. So thank you very much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed the video and the card. A bit tricky, but I think it's well worth it. So And it works. Yeah, you really like that. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to press on, press on subscribe. I can't speak, I'm so excited. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. And don't forget to click on the bell so it highlights you when you, you know I do post new videos and it's exciting. We've got so many things coming out today. It's catalogue launch day. So happy stamping up new catalogue day. Please keep safe and well. If you have a catalogue at home that I've already sent to you, enjoy. And, and uh, if, you, if anything supplies that you need, please get in touch or go on the website craftsenjoy.com and you can click on um, shop from there and go straight to put things in your basket and they come straight to your home. So stamping up are still sending deliveries to the UK by UPS so they are still getting through so all our crafting supplies and lots of shops are shut unfortunately so that's really sad but um, your stuff can, can get through to you so that's really exciting. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Oh my, my mouse is down there. Thank you for watching. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye.